this is for the AQA, AS and uh, A-level business studies paper one. And I'm just going to concentrate on um, a type of question that I think actually a lot of students underestimate and um, where a lot of students actually don't pick up the full marks. I mean, l luckily, it's, it, they're only small marks uh, awarded for these types of questions, but every obviously every mark counts. And the reason why students often uh, underestimate or don't pit and maximise the marks within this is because they, uh, they forget that even though there's not a case study present, there's still context involved within the question. So for example, when we look at this question, uh, fashion chain decides to switch to fair trade clothing in its shops. Explain one possible consequence for the fashion chain. Now I've just highlighted in red um, what I believe could be considered to be context. Uh, so f first of all, what you may get is uh, students just concentrating on the fair trade aspect or the ethical aspect and, and forget that it's actually about a fashion chain and it's about a, cl a clothing shop. So straight away, they, 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 I suppose the technical elements to the answer is good, the theory is there, but actually the, the context is missing. So the first technique I'm going to use um, <coughs> within this answer, and I'm going to use different techniques for the different questions that I'm going to look at within this video. But the first one is actually introducing um, real businesses uh, from the business environment. Now, you might not be able to do that with every question because you might just not recognize on that topic a certain business, but hopefully you've done enough in lesson, enough context in lesson, enough research to be able to do so. Now, in terms of um, the first thing I'd be thinking about is, is what businesses in the business environment or in the clothing industry um, do use fair trade clothing or at least have an ethical uh, have ethical objectives. Now I've used Stella McCartney but there's Levi's, even ASOS has an ethical range um, so you can look at it from that uh, and bring those into the equation just to show the examiner that you are thinking about that specific industry. So what I've put is uh, one consequence for a fashion retailer could be the ability to add further value to its clothes. So again, in terms of consequence, it could be positive or it could be negative. It doesn't, it doesn't give you a certain direction. It leaves it quite open. So for example, clothing brands such as Stella McCartney have been able to market their eth ethical ethos in order to attract customers to the company. If customers recognize the clothing brand to use fair trade materials, not only will it be perceived as ethical, but also perhaps better quality and therefore allow Stella McCartney to offer premium prices. The added value will cover the increased cost of sales, but perhaps even generate greater revenue for the firm by giving them a competitive advantage to over clothing items which don't respond to, sorry, that's meant to say clothing brands. There you go, that's been corrected. So to other clothing brands which don't responsibly source their clothing material. So that would generate you four marks. There's development within that. Uh, there's a proper expl explanation. Um, you, you explain why it's a valid point, but you also explain what it would lead to. And there's this context throughout from the very first uh, sentence to the very end. So this next question, explain how the use of break-even analysis might help an entrepreneur make decisions about the startup of a new business. Again, I've highlighted what I would consider it to be context. First of all, it's about an entrepreneur. Second of all, it's about a startup. And finally, it's about a new business, obviously, as it's a startup. So I'm going to use a different technique for this. I'm not going to bring in real-life examples because you might find that very, very difficult to do. But what I am going to think about within my context is specifically the startup of a new business. So within this one, my opening line straight away tackles that it's a new business and it's an entrepreneur. So as the entrepreneur has early just started up and perhaps lacking entrepreneurial experience, break-even analysis would be a useful planning tool. The entrepreneur would be able to set targets based on this, and if the entrepreneur felt that these current targets were unrealistic, they could adjust it and carry out what-if analysis by changing certain variables to determine how it will impact their break-even targets, such as a higher price. By doing this, it allows the entrepreneur to communicate these targets to the workforce, motivating the workforce and the entrepreneur themselves in being better prepared for achieving these goals, enhancing the chances of success. And I've added one more line just to really emphasize the context. Uh, this is important as many small startups fail due to a lack of planning, which uh, again, if you carry out the research, have a look, you'll see that um, there's, there's many reasons why small startups fail. It could be to do with cash, uh, poor cash flow, but one of them is a lack of planning. 
So another example of a startup business, you can see that these are quite common, but, but again, I've seen it many times, students just explain the value of primary research to a company, but not a startup company. So as I've put here, as a startup company is new to the market, primary research will be crucial in identifying customer needs and potential market trends. By specifically re researching their potential customers, it allows them to attempt to target these needs, helping to improve their chances of competing when entering. So again, if we think about it from this point of view, when entering, we think about it when new to the market uh, that's helping you um, to, to, to consider the context of the question and my final sentence just to make sure it's not just a new company entering the market but it's a startup business I put this would especially be important when fair starting up as it would be essential to instantly generate revenue to help them to break even as fast as possible because as a startup company they're probably going to start off with uh, high initial costs they're, not, they're probably going to be starting off with losses and therefore it's important to break even as fast as possible.